Welcome to um, Socktober. I have had a little idea um, that I am going to, for the rest of October, I know I'm a bit late, it is now the 20th of October, so in the next couple of weeks, um, leading up until the end of October, I'm going to show you how to knit a sock. You will need some delicious sock yarn, and this is the new um, Carmen Gusto wool um, from Earth. It's a sister company of Earth, and um, it's a self-striping yarn. So you've got this beautiful tonal color. Uh, there are different colorways on our website, and then the speckles. So what happens is you have a row of this and a row of speckle, row of that, row of speckle. So I've wound up this um, skein into a cake. This is a cake, and we're gonna pull it from the center. I've got my higher, higher, two and a half um, millimeter, 23 inches, I mean, so 23 centimeters, nine inch needles. Obviously both of these things, the yarn and the needles are from the inspired. So to cast on, because I want my socks identical, I'm just gonna go past this um, speckled bit. I'm gonna start on a um, solid bit and do my um, slip knot on a solid piece and also then I'll be able to use or I hope I'll be able to cast on actually what I should first do is let's just check how many I need to cast on or how much yarn I need so to do this a sock yarn is you just wrap about 10 times 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 around the fat part of the needle so from there to about there I didn't count the tail is 10 stitches so I'm going to need 64 for my sock so that's 10 20 make the tail 10 20 30 40 50 60 I'm actually going to need to go into this orange bit so what I'm going to do is I know that I've got enough here to cast on I'm going to go to the end of this first orange piece and I'm actually going to cast my sock on there because then when I do my second one I'll also go to the start of a speckle bit so I'm going to show you the long tail cast on you put your slip knot onto your needle and then put your fingers in between those two tails the working tail and the end of the tail and bring it down into a V okay so thumb and pointy finger my fan it's so hot today the fan is blowing my yarn into the middle hold it pull it down and it's now a nice little V shape you're gonna scratch your thumb and pick this loop up and then you're gonna get this one and bring it through that circle you've just made or the loop you just made use your thumb to tighten it up not too tight you knock a little gap in between those two so scratch your thumb over this um, other loop bring it through And that's what I'm going to do for 64 of these stitches. And that is your first step. That is your long tail cast on. Keep doing that until you have 64 stitches. That's for a medium um, size sock. 